Hi, my name is Lloyd from electricsense.com and today I'm going to uh, show you what cell phone radiation is, what it looks like. So I've, I'm on my desk here, uh, hopefully you can see this, I've got my microphone so that you can hear me. I've got a radio frequency meter so that I can show you, we can show the uh, what's uh, the, the, how it, what's measured and I have here a cell phone which I'm going to call to this phone and then we're going to show I'm going to show you what's happening on the screen of the meter so firstly just a quick word about the meter um, so this is a meter uh, which I've used before I've used it in other videos there are other meters on the market this one's quite a good one because it's it's pretty accurate and it gives you two readings it gives you a peak reading and an average reading the peak readings in volts uh, per meter and the average one is in watts per square meter this is the one where you'll see uh, we, we, uh, for this demonstration and what happens is the more radiation there is the higher it goes on this scale and I don't know if you can see the numbers on here but the numbers Hopefully you can see that it starts down at one, um, and it goes up to uh, 100,000. And the uh, the safety, according to the Bio Initiative report, which is an independent study which came out in 2007, the safety level is 1,000. That's you know that that's what they're saying is is a, is a safety level. Different countries have got different recommendations, but that's that's sort of the one which is, uh, to my mind, uh, the one which which you need to 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 look at. Um, so we're going to do the demonstration. So firstly, I'm going to try and get the the phone to work. Now this is not my phone, obviously, because I'm electrosensitive, so I don't have a cell phone. It's my wife's phone. So uh, we'll see if it. So I'll switch the meter on and we'll make the conversation, we'll make the call, here we go, and so you can see it's calling and you can see already, you can see it's starting to light here, so I'll take the phone off the hook, uh, so we've established the communication and now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to come near the screen so you can see more clearly, I'm going to bring the phone next to the, the meter. So as you can see I'm going to bring it, hopefully you can see this, and we're right up to 10,000, uh, kind of fitting between 10,000 and 2,500, depending on where I go, the, the antenna, the captures over the top here, uh, so you see it's moving around, it depends where I am exactly, but uh, it's, so I'm going to switch it off. favorite job I can tell you uh, because now I'll switch it on again I think there we go yeah no I hadn't actually switched it on again but it was doing something else it was sending another, another signal <laughs> but anyway so you can see uh, from uh, that little demonstration uh, that the cell phone radiation, the radio frequency radiation level went up to the 10,000 mark. It flittered between 10,000 and uh, 2,500, 10,000 and, uh, and 1,000. Now as I said at the beginning, the Bio Initiative report says that a safe level of radiation is in the 1,000 mark. There we go, I'll switch it off so you can hear me better is in the 1000 mark and we were already at times at the 10,000 but this is radiation which well, as I was holding the phone that's exactly how it would be right next to your ear which is right next to your brain and that would be going into your body that is the radiation which would be absorbed by your body now I'm electrosensitive so I can feel that this is a pretty pretty accurate instrument but it's nowhere near as sensitive as my as my body as, as my head because I can actually feel I can actually feel this phone even though it's not actually registering anything on here and it's not actually uh, there's no communication I can actually feel it just when it's switched on so that is I think a very clear demonstration 
of what cell phone radiation is and if you have a phone like that on you if you're using it imagine if you're using it for any length of time in a day the, can, the levels of radiation which you're going to be absorbing not just to your um, not just to your brain but anywhere you put it on your body basically that's where it's going to affect you know if you put it here your heart if you put it here uh, your groin and the, the the issue is a really a long term one um, because uh, we we don't we don't know there's been no long term studies carried out uh, we, 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 we're beginning to know a lot but the long term uh, ramifications are you know pretty 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 frightening on this so anyway I hope that I've uh, explained this and you've got a good uh, idea now what the cell phone radiation is and uh, I'll see you uh, soon uh, on another topic or you can visit my website electricense.com thank you